Hi guys and welcome to Loan Calculator using Python. Okay, so let me just show you guys how this works. First of all, let's clear that out. And in here we can just enter an amount of loan. Let's say we want to go for 100,000. And the interest rate, let's say is 6%. Uh, and you intend to pay it within five years hit on calculate that's what you end up with so you can see you can reset and you can also exit all right i'm going to exit out and what i'm going to be doing now is click on file let's start a new project entirely and right there first of all i'm going to import the library required so let's increase this font size so that you guys can see what i'm about to do so i'm going to make that about 20 apply click on ok so let's go for import and i'm importing to enter because i do have the graphical user interface component library right in there so import enter let's go for rstk and next thing is i'm going to import the message box that is a sub modular for to display messages in Tekinta or in Python. So let's say message import message box. There we go. So the next library will be that of the NumPy Financial. This NumPy Financial is actually used for financial calculation. So I'm going to be importing that as NPF. There we go. Now that that is done, the next thing is I'm going to create a class and I'll call this class. Let's just call it financial. Financial. And let's enter column in there. Next, I'm going to specify a static method here static method and this that will be the financial class that contains a static method pmt that calculate the monthly payment for the loan using the financial formula so let's define our pmt there and this pmt will include the rate okay we have the rate there we have the annual that's the percentage then we have the pv then fv and now uh, for my i'm going to have let's say type that is going to be equals the value of zero there we go now the next thing i'm going to do is let's Put together the the calculation with this variable that I've just declared. So I'm going to say the rate. I'm going to multiply that by uh, a value. So it's a rate multiplied by that should be PV. Then we divide that by one minus one plus the rate, and then multiply it by minus n there we go so if you are wondering what is all this jargon the pv stands for present value the fv that's for future value and in here we have and this stands for the total number of the payments okay so now let's get it returned so i'm going to say return result there we go now the next thing is i'm going to create another class this class i will just use that to be the that will be for the loan calculator app let's say class loan calculator app okay loan calculator application and that's going to take in the following tk dot tk Okay, enter semicolon. 
All right, this should be a lowercase tk here. Okay, now the next thing is let's define a function in there. This function is let's initialize the following, and I'm just going to call that self. If you want, you can call it self dot root, self comma root, but I'm calling it just self. So let's say power. So we say super dot underscore underscore in it underscore underscore there if you're wondering what is the super for you see the super is in object oriented programming is a function that is used to call method from the parent class okay so we don't get that confused so let's come down here and say self dot um that's to be the rates okay interest rate so the interest rate is going to be let's say give it the value for now 0, 0 0.0 all right so that is fine then let me go for another one another variable i'm just going to call that maybe number so i'm declaring my variables now the next one is going to be number of years number of years initialize with zero value and let's add one more so the next one is going to be the amount of loan or loan amount then the monthly payments and the total payments monthly payment then total payment as well those are the variables that i'm going to be using total payment there okay that is fine I'm just going to put a title the choice is yours if you want to add a title so i'm going to say self dot title and that is going to be loan calculator there we go now that that is done and i want to create all my widgets so in here the widget that I'm going to create here, I'm going to say self dot create widget underscore widget. And then I'll then create a function for it. So what I'm doing in here is just calling the widget that I'm going to be using. So right underneath here, let's create my function for widget. So let's say function click widget enter semicolon there but first of all enter column in there okay right underneath my function here i'm going to create a following and that's going to be a label let's a la uh, tk dot label that's going to be my first widget and that is going to be inside self comma the text is going to be we can just call that maybe number of no okay amount of loan amount of loan let's paste that in here of loan. now let's add a font here then this font i'm just going to make it that's going to be an area so let's give a value of about 40 yeah 40 we do that's good enough and make it bold as well so close that off dots let's say grid 
and this grid is going to be in uh, row zero. The column will be zero as well. Now what about the padding to the x-axis? I'm going to make it about 10. I'm getting padded to the y-axis about 5 as well. Comma. Uh, let me just come down here and press enter so that you guys can see what I am. Let's see, okay. Yeah. Okay, I think I may have a bit of room in here, so press enter here. All right, so the next thing is I'm just going to say strictly. That will be equals tk dot e close that. So that's the very first one. I'm going to need two more, so might as well just copy this and paste that right here. Another one, and let's get them both indented. Hold on to the control, get it indented. There we go. Okay, and here I'm going to change this to interest rates. Just paste interest rate in here. And number of years. Grab all of this. Paste this right here. Number of years. All right, looking good so far. There we go. Now that all of that is done, I'm now going to create a text box. As you can see, this is uh, row zero, column zero, but this one should have been row number one, and this one will be row number two. Okay. So now I need to create a text box that will be in the column. So first of all, let's start with uh, amounts. I'm going to get, get a hold of this. Right underneath here. I'm just going to enter TX. No, let's say self. Self dot TXC amount. Amount of loan. And that is going to be entry widget equals tk dot entry. And this entry is going to be inside self, comma. Uh, let's copy this font. Let's grab all of all of these. Oh, look at this. There's an error here. That should be t. t here and t here as well. So grab all of that. It here. All right. That's my very first widget. But this widget is going to be in. Okay. Let's do this. Self. And that is going to be in the following. So copy this and just paste it right here. Read dot column and the column is going to be row is zero column is going to be one and this pattern let's move this here yeah. so now you guys can see that and do it one more here okay Let's see. I was trying to make sure that it's, we can see it. I move this as well. I'll just bring this down. Okay. Bring it down properly so that it can be seen. Let's see. Yeah, that's much better. Do the same thing here. Let's cut it off. This thing. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what. Look at that. Press enter. I'm bring this up here. Okay, you should be able to see it now. Okay then, and here, let's grab hold of the paddings. The padding that I want is going to be, let's make that 10 by, all right, 10 by five as well. Just paste it here. And just close that up. There we go. So that's the first one. So I'm, I'm now going to copy it and paste it right underneath here. And paste another one there. This is going to be for the interest rate. And this is going to be TX, the interest rate. Get it indented and followed by a number of years okay number of years here right number of years here as well underneath here and the interest rate should be underneath here as well the grill okay so the first one is column one this will be column two and this is column three okay that's a label for each of these text uh, entry widget okay then that is done now I think we should enter add our buttons first or oh, let's do one thing i'm gonna come down here let's add some more widget label it's a label a self dot ldl monthly payments monthly payments come down here paste that here And that is going to be equals TK label, the Tikinta TK dot label, and this label is going to be inside self, and this self is going to take in all of this as well. Okay, so let's just grab hold of all of these here. and paste it here okay this is itself and amount okay let's do this grab all of this let's paste it here so i don't get it messed up and let's grab all of monthly payments paste it right here get rid of this okay let's put a column in there yeah so that i can see it. now that that is done let's run it up as well right underneath here and okay let's grab all of the grill and grab all of these just paste it here now the column the role in this case let's do one thing you see the rules here this needs to be two one okay all of these are wrong okay okay i've actually arranged it wrong this should have been zero one two okay and this is going to be zero 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 that is fine right why this will be 
0, 1. And this would be 1, 1. This would be 2, 1, 2, 1. There. So this is, okay, that's fine now. And this monthly LBL month, monthly payment, that is going to be, I'm going to make that. So let's say this is going to be four. Yeah, let's go for four. And that will be zero. Okay, no, that will be four, and this will be zero. All right, so let's look at the. Okay, let's let's all also add. Column span, this span around two, so I can get rid of this. There's a column span equals two. Okay then grab all of this column span that would be equals to okay so that is fine so let's copy this and now I want another one for total paste and this is going to be total Total payment. Total payment and total payment here. Okay, then this should be five. The rule is five. That is fine. Now, let's create buttons. And yeah, we can try it out. So I'm going to come down here. Still working with the widget. Okay, then come right down. There's a TK dot buttons. And that is going to be self. And so on. So let's just copy up to here, copy all of this, paste it here. So this is going to be calculate. And the font, okay, that's fine. All right, so what about the grill and so on? So let's grab hold of all of these here let's paste it here all right so that is that's fine and one other thing okay let's see this all right let me change this you see the roll here I'm going to, this one is 5, I'll make this 6. And the column, this will be 0. Yeah. And we can just make this. Uh, okay, we make that 10. The y axis adding. Column span, oh, column span. Let's get rid of the whole of column span. Press that there. I'm going to have to press enter so that you guys can see it. Okay. Okay, I need two more buttons. This is for to carry out the calculation. Let's copy this. Paste it right underneath here. Okay. 
All right, this is going to be the reset button. Why this will be the exit button? Exit here. Now reset here. Okay, and let's change the rows. So that will be seven, and this is eight. There we go. All right, I'm going to just before I put together the functions, so let's round it up and just see. We we'll come right down here. Uh, using an if statement, if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals speech underscore underscore main underscore underscore close the speech mark if that is equals to the app let's say the app is loan yeah i think i call it loan calculator yeah, right, there we go loan calculator bring that down here yeah. If it's long calculator, and then we say app dot loop dot main loop. loop. There we go. Okay, before I go any further, let's save this first. Find save as all that. Uh, py underscore long calculator up okay that's fine i will save that straight in here save okay let's try that out now i just want to see how it's going to look there we go look at that yeah that's fine okay now but check this out this should have been total total payment where is it there we go so we just change that to total payment okay then that one is sorted so you can also save and run okay then that's good now let's put together just some functions three of those to take care of one for the calculation and the other one for the other two one for clear the other two for the other one for exit so okay let's start with the calculate loan function so let's say dev calculate loan and that is going to be self and i'm going to use pry cache in case if i run into any error so i'm now going to also say self dot interest rate let's grab all of that interest rate that would be equals let's use the work is here let's say equals float Think that is the is it is right up here yeah that's correct floats and that is going to be self dot txt interest rate the txt interest rates we also need to get whatever value we have get and then we divide by 100 and divide by 12 that is the that is the formula to work out the interest rate now the next one is going to be number of years so let's grab all of this and paste that right underneath here so dot number of years equals all of these okay number of years so let's get txt number of years and that is going to be multiplied by l by 12. there we go 
and the loan amount right down here paste that right on the meter loan amount that's going to be let's grab all of these as well paste and that is going to be txt amount is that in here Okay, we've assigned all of the value that will go into the entrum widgets into the various variables. Now we also need to work out the total amounts or the monthly amount and the total amounts. Let's come right down here. Might as well get boots. Let's get them. Is that here? Let's take care of the monthly amount first. So monthly amount that is going to be we need to call the function. Let me call this financial. So let's say financial dot pm equals financial dot pmt and that is going to be all of these grab all of that comma the number of years comma and the loan amount there there's the loan amount there so that's that taken care of now let's take care of the total payments so the total payment is going to be set dot monthly payment now we then need to multiply that by the number of years there we go that's good all right now that that is done let's take care of this need all the results in here so i'm going to grab all of the just this two And that is where I'm going to store all my value. There's this here. Now, LBL monthly payments. So that is going to be dot configure. And what am I configuring? The text. Let's delete all of these. We don't need that. So the text that is going to be format speech mark the monthly payments let's grab all of monthly payment here let's grab all of all of that is that in here monthly payments and the monthly payment i want it to be in pounds so let's put pound sign there and here i'm just going to then say self dot monthly payment this one self dot monthly payment column dot into two decimal places close that all right that is fine let's make sure it's all correct monthly payment and pound sign no, this should be coily braces. Yeah, and this should be coily braces as well here. There we go. All right, let's take care of the total monthly pay, pay, or total payment. In the case of the total payment, I'm just gonna copy all of these, paste it here, and modify. And now, this should be total payment. total payment and the total payment is going to be total payment here with the lowercase t okay that is the variable that was declared up there in two decimal places as well 
and I also need to play the amount and assign the value okay let's do this let's say txt amount txt save.txt amount come right down here paste let's say dot delete tk dot end there we go I will also need to in now insert whatever we have in here. So I'm clearing it and I'm now going to insert into it now. And what am I inserting? That is going to be the loan amount. Loan amount. This one. Let's paste that in here. So, loan amount, and that should actually be inside two curly braces. Inside the curly braces, set dot loan amount. There we go. Okay. So this should be instead of delete, this should be insert. Insert. Okay. It's looking good so far. Let's make sure it's all correct. Yeah. Okay. Now the so dot into two decimal places. Right then. Now let's come down here and just enter our exception statement in case if there's any error. So in here I'm just going to say accept value error and enter a message box in there. Message box dot show error. Error and that's going to be error, comma, just say invalid input, something like that. Input, oh, please enter valid number. That's in case if you enter okay enter numeric character enter valid numeric numeric values there we go all right so you see this now i have to call this inside the button so we just need to enter command equals whatever equals calculate loan so copy that let's look for the button right here okay i can paste that here so i'm going to enter a colon and let's say command oh it's in the wrong place but i'm going to need that as well as time goes on let's put it here calculate loan command equals self dot calculate long right so let's just put it down so that you can see it I might as well put it all down okay, it's coming okay okay let's try that out now I'm going to run it just want to see how that's going to look like all right let's enter some value in there and here okay invalid okay there we go that's fine you enter reset is now working it's invalid okay that's good so it's working as we want now let's create out of reset so right 
underneath here. Oh, one thing first, let's change all of these to here, the front. Okay, the front of this, let me make that blue so that it's kind of look a little bit different. So let's come down here and just say, comma font FG that's equals blue. Okay, that's for one, copy this, paste it here. So let me run that and see how that's gonna look for now. There we go. So it looks a little bit more pronounced, but the output is still going to be black. Oh, good, everything is blue. I mean, the output will be blue, I mean. Okay, that's fine. So that's taken care of. All right, so let's take care of reset and exit. So right underneath here, uh, default, uh, that's a function. Let's say reset underscore field. That will be self as well. So I can just copy all of these and just change it around. I'm gonna grab all of these. Yeah, paste that there. Oh, this should be self. Okay, grab hold of interest rate. I'm going to need a mountain total anyway, so grab hold of interest rate. I'll just grab hold of all of these. And down here, paste. And I'm also going to grab hold of this one here. So take care of this one, take care of this as well, and this one, there, those three are taken care of, there's two more, I need this and this, so grab all of these two, monthly payment and total payment, this one underneath there. Okay. So these two, let's get it configured. Config equals clear. There, we'll put the same thing here. There, and that's that taken care of. So we now need to call this field inside on the button here. So have a good look at the function. Come right here now. Let's come into resets. Okay, inside reset here. I'm just gonna enter this here. And let's grab hold of command. Paste it right there. And put a comma here. There we go. Command equals self dot reset. So that is taken care of. Okay, so let's try it now. Run. Oh, there's a column missing here. There we go. Try it one more time. Run. What did I do wrong? Let's see. Okay. All right, I made a mistake here. <laughs> All right, let's grab all of this, all of that. Let's call it up. It was meant to be in here. See, just like I did here. That was what I was meant to do. Call and press enter and paste it here. Okay, just like I have in here now. Yeah, I think I made the same mistake here. No, I haven't. All right, I might as well just do that now. Paste that in here. And this is going to be for the exit, so I can just call that exit up. Changes to exit underscore up. Okay, 
now I have to create exit out copy let's paste this here let's move that to the right position there uh, maybe we should try this out for now Let, okay I'll, I'm gonna cut this off for now cut it off let's make sure I'm on the right part there we go okay I'm fine now enter whatever in there yeah reset very good all right paste that back exit up copy that now let's create a function exit up right down here function exit up so in there we just need to let's create as a result that's going to be equals message box i can just copy this message box dot x yes no and and that is going to be exit comma i can then say confirm if you want to exit there close that and even an if statement if the result equals Set dot destroy. There we go. I think that should take care of that. So let I've already called this function in here. Okay, let's save and run. There. Let's see. Oh, there should be a comma there comma okay do that again save and run okay exit no it's not working let's see all right let's see why it's not working Okay, let's have a good look at the lines of goods back down here. Okay, if you notice, I did not include self because let me run it to see what I'm talking about. You see, if I click on this now, I end up with this error. Okay, it's telling me the long calculator dot exit take zero position and argument, but one was given so let's close that in here that should have been self there and if i run it now that should hopefully take care of the problem that up click on that no i don't want to exit yes i do want to exit there all right guys so one other thing that we can do is if the user should enter invalid data in there and you click on calculate if I click on OK I expect it to play it okay so let's come in here grab all of this now I'm gonna place that right underneath the error message error handler here so that becomes self dot there okay that should take care of that so let's run that now and see. Save it first. Now run. Enter. And invalid there. Okay, so it's working as we want. So guys, with that, I'm probably the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to become a member of the channel. 
and before I go let me show you guys the lines of codes again take it from the top very important you must make sure you install this numpy financial on your system okay and here this is the function for the PMT and here's my class and within that class I've also created the widget class let's take it down there we go right and take it down and here is the calculator itself the long calculator itself that is a function from here up to here and right here underneath the reset and the exit and that's it so with that guys i'm calling the end of this brilliant tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now